Okay, so um, this portion here is going to be brief, and I'm just actually checking uh, the actual um, clearance I have with my cam button. This is a cam button if you have a solid roller, hydraulic roller, uh, in one of these non-roller blocks. you got to put a cam button up there over the timing chain. So I have the actual um, front of the timing uh, cover on there and everything and so I'm just going to take and I took out these two lifters in this spot and I put a magnetic dial indicator on here and I look in there and I can see the lobe and uh, you know try not to make sure you're going on the side of the lobe to move it over and if you pry it backwards uh, towards the rear of the block uh, till it's stiff here you look at the gauge um, it's only going to go so much because it's pulling into the block after you determine that you've got it back all the way, then you just literally go the opposite direction and you can feel it move. Uh, come on to the dial indicator and <clears throat> this dial indicator that I have uh, with this one, um, I've taken it and set it up at zero so when I take the indicator off and look at it you can just look at the dial and mine it's going to ten thousandths and that's enough clearance but it's on the back of the cam so don't put the steel plug that goes in there when you're doing your your build if you can you put this in last uh, but you can put the actual indicator on there and then as you pull it back and forth and it presses against the button into the plate you'll have an actual real measurement